Hello ladies and gentlemen, Wagged here, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be once again talking about the Ishto Delirious situation because one, you guys have been absolutely loving my videos. No less than 20,000 on any of them and I can't thank you guys enough for that, it really does mean a lot. And the second reason I've made so many Ishto Delirious videos is because nothing else is really happening on the internet. Everything's pretty stale, there's been no drama, no nothing. So if you have anything that could actually be of use to cover, go to my Discord link in the description and send it in the video ideas section and maybe I'll use it, maybe I will cover it. Before we get into the video, please subscribe as it's totally free and you can always unsubscribe later also consider watching my other videos as i don't just talk about ace to delirious although that is what i've been talking about recently and i've already told you why also go ahead and watch the video top right if you haven't already because i'm gonna be leaving off where i ended that video jonathan let's take this to court discovery will be your downfall my legal retainer is in let the world see who you are and how many you hurt Next interview will be up today. Please listen to the girls with allegations despite the noise and repulsive attacks against them. Jonathan being a so delirious. And let me just say, of course the dude's not going to want to go to court. Whether or not he is innocent or guilty, he'll have to show his face. And that's something he's been trying to avoid ever since he even got on the internet. Also, I got some crazy news about the girls with interviews. So either in my next video or the video after, I'm going to cover some truly shocking discoveries that were sent to me via Twitter. Also, Twitter link in the description if you want to talk to me there or send me a message or follow my Twitter as I talk a lot there. An innocent man doesn't delete thousands of tweets the second girl's allegations start to surface. Also, he could have done that because, well, tweets can be deceiving, especially with age. Ishto Delirious could have said anything and it would have been used against him, so I understand why he delete tweets, especially when quote-unquote allegations were against him, because if they were false, that's even worse for him. An innocent man lets the lawyers do the talking and doesn't intimidate victims or threaten them. I mean, the second you get a lawyer involved, doesn't that make you look somewhat suspicious? Especially when it's over online stuff? Listen to the girls and their allegations. We will be doing that next video if this video gets 1,500 likes. So leave a like right now. Character assassination should be telling in itself. All he wanted to do was discredit. Even the person who tried to use against Sai immediately spoke up, denouncing Delirious' lie about her about being in a doxing group. Delirious was friends with him. She was not in that group. And Delirious never claimed that she was in the group. I read Delirious' shit. Delirious said she was associated. It does not mean she was with it. If you talk to someone, that means you're associated with it. But if H2 Delirious was associated with them, then I guess that claim's just void. He attacked her mental health, using it as not good thoughts in years past means she cannot be trusted, called her crazy, disgusting. Well, once again, I think I've covered a tweet somewhat like this. Omrecker, did you even look at what he posted? The tweets that she had tweeted in the past, you know, the past, how I said tweets can be deceiving. They're deceiving in this point because we don't know what the hell she was talking about. It makes her look like a crazy woman. She looks absolutely delusional in them. And that's something you must credit, especially when it comes to these allegations, because these allegations are career ending. What is he going to say about the next girl who allegedly had her baby threatened by him? She's crazy too? That does sound kind of crazy. I mean, if there's no evidence, I am going to call her crazy. Open your eyes. I think my eyes are plenty open to own, but thank you for that. The origin person in all this, a streamer who dated Delirious and even allegedly reported Delirious to the police for revenge. Yo, what? Also has been terrified about speaking up. She knew of other girls herself with blank claims, one of which is tied to Louis Caliber. I mean, I know Louis done some bad stuff. I'm not gonna make any comments on that. That's about this is about Ohm and Age Delirious, not Louis Caliber. The hate mob is reacting to repeated character assassination instead of the girls. The deleted tweets are the response made by the same man who Delirious tried to use to discredit a victim. This stuff is real. I will fight him to court if needed, and law enforcement is involved. Already involved? That's good. I mean, good, because whether or not... You know what? It's just good in general. I was going to say good if it's going to prove h to be innocent, but no. I don't care. Just figure it out. I'm sick and tired of speculating, because if h Deliris happens to be guilty, well then, f*** me. Omrecker is just right, and I would probably delete all my videos on this drama, but we will not know till... Omrecker actually gets the results he clearly wants. I mean, there's no evidence yet, but let's see if the police can find any. Law enforcement started to get involved in March, months ago, including escalation to other agencies. Funny how nothing's been found yet. <laughs> False reporting would be a crime. This is real. It's a process. It's why even YouTubers that admitted to behaviors are still uncharged. These cases are not quick. They take time. Clearly. Goddamn. Since March? Are you kidding? It's July. Damn near August. At no point have law enforcement, either police or federal or other agencies, indicated a need for all-encompassing silence. Blank blank is black and white. You either have it, or have aided in making it, or didn't. It can't be restored. Armchair experts are wrong. The distractions are just that, and petty and low. Even making claims about my private life, all while Delirious had two separate girls in the past years indicate that he has been cheating on Liz, although Liz seems to pay no attention to it. 
Funny how there's claims against it, but Liz doesn't seem to care as much as you, Omrecker. A little obsessive, but okay, okay. Especially because cheating is not on the legal spectrum whatsoever, and since Liz isn't paying attention, you're literally like a petty high school girl, starting up drama, making rumors, doing whatnot, especially when it comes to the cheating situation. When it comes to actual stuff that could get h 2 leaves behind bars, maybe not, but this? Okay, come on now. Delirious belongs in prison, especially after allegedly threatening a victim's newborn. Yeah, that does sound like something that would lay him in prison, however... Proof. The one thing that's been lacking in this entire case is any evidence whatsoever pointing towards H. Delirious' arrest and claims like this? Claims like this and people ask, why do you need evidence? Why don't you just trust the victims? What the hell? Threatening someone's newborn? That is beyond me. You can ask me to open my eyes as much as you want, Omrecker, but until there's just a little bit of evidence, even a smidge pointing towards the fact that H.O. Delirious wanted to kill a newborn, yeah, I'm not trusting it for anything. At this point, I don't care if you take any rumor or lie or heck, even truth as the gospel against me. Go ahead. Make me out to be the bad guy. Get that out of your system. See what he's doing. The actions of a guilty person and hear the girls out. Next interview is coming. This is Matt, aka Necklaces, aka Samuel Blackson's tweets, the person who Delirious tried to maliciously use against Sai and his twit longer. Delirious blocked him after lying about him. Matt clearly states that he was friends with the Vanos group too, and C was not involved. You know what, Omrecker? Thank you. You gave me some evidence, but this evidence does not help whatsoever with the claims that you're spewing. And then it shows some god-awful tweets that happen to be in light mode from necklaces saying, I've had nothing to do with the situation, and yet I'm being scapegoated. What an interesting word that is. Weird how that works, seeing as I have not been involved with this side of the internet for almost nine years now. Wow, you graduated from swatting and being put behind bars for the shitty stuff you've done on the internet. Congrats, man. Round of applause, actually. Weird how I stayed out of your drama, and you're gonna drag me into it because you're scared of the consequences. My actions were my own, and she was never involved, and the various federal agencies that still have my computers can vouch... That's pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. Then he goes on to say, This is last tweet, by the way. I can't believe you made it this far. Good stuff, boys. We're almost at the end. Stay with me here. Funny how he'd rather block me than converse with me in private. I never once came out and accused him of doing the things he's accused me of, but he confirmed it yet again by blocking me. So, I wanna know where you guys are sitting at with this situation. Do you believe H. Delirious? Do you believe Omricker? Comment down Team Om or Team Delirious, depending on which one you agree with, or comment down Team Wag because you don't know what the hell's going on and you just wanna know what I have to say. Because, well, if you're, if you're one of those people, you're pretty cool i'm not gonna lie to you also subscribe if you're one of those people it really comes down to whether or not you believe h true delirious bringing up c's tragic past to go against her is a good or bad thing do you think using the fact that she was clearly mentally deranged a few years ago against her is good because the allegations are quite you know crazy do you think it's something that you should be allowed to do, or do you think it's just a scubby act in general and you shouldn't be bringing up someone's past when it comes to allegations? Personally, I think all is fair when it comes to the situation because, well, the allegations are quite dire and Ace Delirious deserves to defend himself. Comment down Spoon for her heart. Also, if you don't comment down Spoon, I'm gonna steal all the spoons from your house and spit in your milk so you can't have cereal in the morning. Thank you all once again for watching. Have a blessed day. Go to something productive, and I'll see you all in the next one. Adios, amigos.